Hi, I'm Mate Jančovic, the hybrid drummer. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate for you this new Roland VAD506 drum kit and I'm gonna use the Roland TD27 module for this. VAD stands for V-Drums Acoustic Design. So this is basically a classic Roland V-Drum, but it looks like an acoustic. This kit consists of a 20-inch bass drum, a 10 and a 12-inch rack tom, and a 14-inch floor tom. And it has a 14-inch stainless steel snare. There are two crashes, a right cymbal and a hi-hat. There are two other types of VAD drums within this series. The VAD 503, which has only two toms and one crash, and the VAD 306, which has smaller drum shells. These new cymbals are 40% thinner than the previous ones, so they respond very well to our playing. The snare and the ride are now connected with a USB cable and they have a digital triggering technology, which makes the sound even more detailed. The TD27 is a new, very powerful and easy to use drum module. It has great built-in sounds and you can import your own samples from an SD card. Now let me show you a few of the preset kits. Now let's see some more electronic sounding kits. This next kit has great reverb and delay effects.
A great new feature about the digital snare is that if you just put your hand on it, it automatically changes to the cross stick sound. Set the tables up in our feet Comes the day when it all malfunction Maybe that's when we really get free Take it back just to You can choke the Roland symbols by grabbing them by the side But in case of the digital ride you only need to put your hand on it and it will be muted You can use any drum technique on this drum without compromises. For example, check out the hi-hat splashing technique. Let me talk a bit about the module. It has two extra direct outputs besides the main stereo output and you can choose what you'd like to route to that direct output which can make mixing the drum sound better. You have three auxiliary inputs for more drum pads or triggers and a dedicated crash 2 input for an extra crash. Besides the digital snare and ride inputs there's a third digital input for an extra snare or ride. You can connect a foot switch for extra functions like changing between kits, tap tempo or metronome start and stop, just to mention a few. The TD27 has a mixing input to connect your phone and play along to backing tracks. It also has MIDI in and outputs. With a USB connection the module becomes a sound card so you can record the sound to your computer on separate channels without an external sound card. Now let's see the front panel of the module. We have three knobs for volumes. One is master, which sets your levels towards the front of house mixer or towards the studio mixer. Phones is only for your earphones. And backing track sets the level of the external audio device or the click track. The sounds are very easy to edit. After you've chosen your sound with the instrument knob, you can set its volume with the level knob and you can make the sound shorter with the muffling knob and you can make the sound higher or lower with the tuning. Now let me show you the muffling with the snare. This is how it sounds by itself. Now I'm gonna start muffling it. Let's change the pitch. Yeah. 
the Bluetooth connection, you can use your phone without a cable and playback music from there. You can make more powerful sounds by layering two sounds on one pad. If you go to the edit menu within the instrument and go to the sub instrument menu, you can turn the extra layer on and off. This is how my snare sounds now by itself. And if I turn on this sub layer, you can import your samples from an SD card by pressing the user sample button and entering the import menu. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews about Roland products, drum lessons on hybrid drumming and electronic music genres and a lot of other stuff. See you next time. Bye.